yeah, the screen size is all off. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Um, I think I loaded this up already, so I should I can just um maybe I didn't. Yeah, but my tra the the tracker doesn't work with Bizhawk, so I kind of like that. Shoot, I thought I had this. Uh, thought I had this in my history. Um. Okay. All right. That yeah, it looks good. Just change that a little bit. Now I have to. To open this other stuff. The achievement list was still showing Street Fighter 2. It should be fixed now. Oh wait, no, I need to like open it a open it a second time. There it goes. Uh, progress bar. I guess we'll open the we'll open that to jungle fever. I guess we'll look at the uh oh, that's that's kinda high up. We'll look at the achievements before we I don't know if I'm gonna get every achievement for this. Let's let's be honest here. <laughs> Some of these are kinda dumb. But uh, we can try to get some of them, or most of them. Uh, there, are, there is some like challenge stuff. Obviously, there's the uh, clear every stage, clear first stage without touching water, no problem. <laughs> get electrocuted, destroy every turret in the base stages. Lie down on the spiky wall in the hangar. That's a fun thing you can do. Um, open first base. On the boss screen, use lasers. Don't jump or shoot diagonally. Why, though? Uh, oh, God. Defeat, defeat that thing without destroying any of its projectiles or turrets? Yeah. Yeah. Defeat Shadow Beast without hurting its arms? See Phantom without hitting any of its projectile. Or destroying turret? Wow, okay. Gamble, that's a 2DX song. Make the anti-gravity shuttle reappear seven times without killing its projectiles. Without shooting, tease the armored giant by moving around and avoiding him. Okay. Open the lair while keep to the left from the mortars without destroying them. Open the lair while keep to the left from the mortars without destroying them. Don't hurt anything else fighting Emperor Demon Evil Heart Gomera Moss King. Is that the full name of... <laughs> Reach the boss on stage one without shooting or dying. Reach the boss... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're doing all these. Don't press left in the jungle and clear the stage. That'd be another one where you'd have to, like, unmap it on your on your controller so you don't hit it on an accident. Don't hurt turrets fighting second boss. Don't press up or down on the waterfall stage. Yeah. Enter and clear stage 4 using only the F weapon. Ugh. Get all items on stage 5 without losing a life. Kill 10 gunners without damaging any other object in the energy zone stage. Enter and clear stage 7 using only the, the laser. Kill Emperor Demon Java without shooting diagonally. Complete the game without crouching. Allowed in energy zone. Hint, jump on base stage. 
Well, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, clear the game. Don't pick up any weapon and win the game. Yeah, I want to. I want to at least like you know do do a couple loops, but I don't think we're doing everything here. Win the game with the lives you started with. That's that's doable. Especially if you're just going for spread shot. I mean, it's... It's certainly doable. Just using the default weapon the entire time. It's just not that much fun. <laughs> and win the game. That's kind of loud. I guess some of the challenges are interesting. <laughs> I don't know if they're... Uh, I don't know how I feel about fun just yet, though, from the sound of these things, but... but basically, I'd like to, you know, at least focus on... On clearing two loops, possibly doing it without, uh... Without dying more than three times. Let's just do this, uh... Start this off normally. My buttons aren't set! <laughs> I don't have a jump button. Hold on a sec. Thanks, uh... Thanks, Richard. Yeah! <laughs> the Ultimo, thank you for the, uh... 1,000 bits, holy shit. That's a lot of bits. Yeah, of course, there's a thing for the code. Yeah, I guess some of them you can use to code, but I ain't doing that to start. Fuck that. I don't need no fucking code. Oop. Maybe I do. <laughs> it's been a while. It has been a hot minute. Thank you again, the Ultimo, for the for the generous bits. Uh oh. I was trying not to touch water. Whatever. Didn't want to get that, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, like... Mmm... I don't know, it doesn't seem like it would be that bad to go... to go with the default weapon. I feel like I've played this game enough that I could do it, but... Um, but then again, I'm probably a little rusty. Now just don't die. <laughs> the usual. Yeah, it feels like I've I've played so much arcade Contra that it's just been a while since I played played the NES one. Oh boy! High score win. I will must be a winner. Okay, what was... there was like one for... Ah, there, I electrocuted myself. There was one for like not shooting... Wasn't there one for like shooting all the turrets and then one for not shooting turrets? <laughs> you gotta do it both ways. So, so used to shooting the uh, the rolling barrels for points in, in Arcade Contra. Very lucrative. Can't hit that. Oh my god. I was just trying to hit the top turret. Okay, well you know what? I'm, I'm just going to do this. 
And then I'm gonna restart. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what was the other one? Get the laser and then have it for the the boss or whatever. Okay, so you can you can press down left. You just can't go into a full crouch or down right. See now. That's still kind of whack. Alright, now I can just run past you. that laser. I remember thinking the laser was the uh, the best weapon in the arcade version. It kind of is for speedrunning, I think, but... Okay. Wait, what is that? <laughs> On boss screen, you use lasers. Don't jump or shoot diagonally. Mm. You're supposed to like get up in the. How do you even do that? Oh, wait. I think I get it. You'd have to, like, start at the top. That's really dumb. <laughs> I feel like for everything else, I like I I might have to like save save practices or something. I should just focus on you know clearing the damn game. Try to get that three lives or less clear. Okay, so I think you have to, like, be at the top. And then you drop down. Ah! Probably shouldn't bother. The no jumping part that sucks.
this guy fire. Ooh. That was really stupid. Okay. Brrr. So there was one for, like, not destroying, like, the, the turrets. Or not the turrets, the other... these things. Maybe I can do it for this stage first. Was that not a thing? Maybe that was not a thing. Yeah, let's do it without destroying the panels. Oh, but it's so hard to fucking... Okay. Never mind. Man. Never mind. Let's just play. Ah, I shouldn't have jumped. Okay, wait, no, I don't want to. I don't want to lose a life there. <laughs> I gotta do this on three lives. Pretend the extra lives aren't there. So wait, what did the? Uh, what was I reading then? Oh, I guess it was just the. Wow, that's a. That's a stupid achievement. Uh, Jen Witt, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you very much for the resub. Yeah, no projectiles or the turrets, that's... That's a bit much. Let me get the rapid. Alright, so I don't have to worry about this shit now. Let's just focus on... on actually finishing it. <laughs> Ignore all the dumb shit. I really should have gotten that rapid shot. There we go. That's what's up, pro. So wait, if you can't crouch... Oh, I see. That was the hint on the base stage, if you're... If you're trying to do it without crouching, you have to jump and shoot that. Which is kind of dumb, but... Crouching allowed an energy zone, apparently. Yeah, I'll probably play some Super C, but, like, I don't know that game as well as this. I never really played NES Super C as much. So I'm definitely not, uh, <laughs> not ready for whatever achievements are on that.
What the hell? What are my... What are my analog triggers doing? I need to turn that shit off. <laughs> I didn't realize I... My triggers were mapped to do the... To do filters. So what was achievement for this? Don't... Don't press up or down on this stage. Fuck that. I mean, it's doable with spread, but, eh. Give me that barrier. Wasn't there something about picking up no power-ups, or was that something else? Fucking okay. That's one life down. <laughs> I know I could do this on three lives, but okay. Bothering with any of this shit yet. Got no jumping or destroying the arms, huh? Salmon with a spread shot. I played Contra Rebirth. I think I... I saw it get played at a friend's house. But I don't think we actually... I don't think I, I, I actually played it. Oh, I'm supposed to be destroying all these, aren't I? Alright, whatever. We can get that next time. Give me that shit. God, no crouching. That's... That's a decision. Bubbles are actually way less dangerous than they are in the arcade, but... God, if you're not allowed to destroy these, like, there's not much warning before they come out. I don't know. Oh, God, I don't like that achievement name. 
Oh fuck, I hit I hit the fucking ah. I need to unmap that. Leave it on default, please. Only at one death, at least. Come to think of it, I don't know if I've ever actually done this deathless. I missed the. Is that a barrier? Uh, oh god! I thought he had more time to dodge that. Nope. That's not good. Raise my toe. Oh god. I don't have a weapon. Time to die. So for for those, you just have to keep jumping. If you're going for no crouching, it's a lot of jumping. Thing here, let the uh, let the thing appear like seven times without destroying anything. Ah, I don't have time for that. <laughs> they don't give you points for this. It's nice having an actual score display. The game doesn't give it to you, except between stages. This is the only stage you're allowed to crouch in. <laughs> and probably just... Not at that part, but the parts where, like, you have to dodge the things. What the f- okay. That achievement's gone. <laughs> You're getting fucked. I have to try it again later. Come on. That's yeah, fine. De-resting. is what it is. We'll go, oh, and we'll go for two loops, though. So. Get that taken now, the, taken care of now. When does my barrier run out? I don't remember. Ooh. Okay, so they just want you to, to tease the football player. How long am I supposed to do that?
Yeah, everything does contact damage, but for some reason that guy didn't, uh... Only grazed me. Are we having fun yet? Hopefully I didn't do something wrong. That's what it said, like, just, just fucking, uh... Where is it? Oh, is it, uh... Oh, it's... Wait. Oh, here we go. 105 out of one. Okay, so it is. I'm doing something. <laughs> Don't tell me it's 150 seconds. All right. Well, that was easy. It's like the easiest of the challenges. End of the zoners. Okay, so I gotta... I gotta get on one of the, uh, the platforms. I really don't want that. Trust my jump in there. I tried to jump on it. Can't jump on it. There we go. That was really worth two lives. I know, nobody should ever die on that thing. They want me to have for the boss laser? That might have been it. crouching challenge all of a sudden. So if I don't destroy the mortar, they just mean like run up to it and, and shoot it with the laser, huh? Alright, I've lost way too many lives. Oh yeah, to do the other challenge, you'd have to, like, stand on the other platform and just jump and shoot. That's fun. Hey, any, or Arcade Contra's not that bad. It's just really short.
I don't know if I should go for the heart challenge. Maybe I should just play it safe. So I'm not gonna get like as many as many lives in Luke 2. that later. Who's coming down here, huh? There they go. Again, if they if they allow the code on some things, you can probably just yeah, brute force it. Oh, you can't jump at that thing. That's right. <laughs> what am I doing? second loop of the game. Like, I know eventually they stop giving you giving you extra lives, but pretty sure you still get them on loop 2. Hey, I got 40% of the achievements. Not bad. <laughs> Considering I'm not even trying to get some of the ridiculous ones. Oh god, fucking... Ah. There we go. I need to turn that off. Wait, can I like, uh... Can I change that in the controls? I don't want that turned on. Okay, good. Nope. Oh, the no crouching thing like popped up for uh, for a second. Nope, oh, there it is again. Somebody get a body bag. Yeah, Nesticle Palette. Thank you, the ultimate for the 100 bits. Okay, so they do let you go for the. Whoa, there's a timer now. Why is there a timer now? High score, freak! Oh, it's distance. Uh. <laughs> like a timer. I don't, I don't get to see my score. Also, yeah, not really worth like going for some of these on loop 2 since they start firing a lot more often. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of leaderboards for this. But then, but then, like, some of them have just, like, like, there's, there's a high score one, and it's been maxed out, of course. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've never played this, Noman. Oh. 
Don't be spreading lies. Thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, what did I miss? It's Chikabo, thank you for the, for the 100 bits. Not really go worth going for the stuff I missed on loop 2. I have to, like, start over. But then again, I don't think I'm gonna do everything. Well, I guess some things you can use the, uh, the code on. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the uh, the Japanese version with English hack would would prevent the achievements from popping, so I didn't touch it. The ones with like extra cutscenes and stuff. <laughs> ah! Should we try it? Try it not. Oh god, never mind. I was gonna say try not pressing up or down the entire time. Never mind. Well, I guess you can go diagonally. Nah, I should just focus on finishing loop 2. Come back to it later. Knock the barrier up there. The rock moves a little bit faster in loop two, but maybe I'm just imagining things. <laughs> How am I even supposed to like bait those initial shots without jumping? Also, maybe it's not worth trying that on loop 2. That caught me, huh? That was dumb. Gives you plenty of lives in loop two, so that should be fine. Well, if I was playing the other version, it it did just like take longer between stages, so that's fine. I want to keep it moving. I don't need no cutscenes.
Crap. Not hit that with the laser. Ah! Okay, don't have to worry about that again. I keep thinking this is like the arcade version where you can like wiggle the wiggle the control to like hit directions in between the eight directions. God, this died way faster than the arcade. Okay, so I miss, I miss something on this stage where you have to get every power up, but don't die. again. Wait, wasn't there wasn't there something that required the fire gun? Or am I thinking of a different weapon? It was stage four. Shit. Never mind. Never mind. Boy, I'm loving it. You sure like talking about Grysor. <laughs> wasn't powerful enough for that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Uh... Where's the... Did I miss an item? How did I miss an item? The fester gun. Is there one more weapon? I thought I went straight to the boss after this. I'm thinking of uh, the arcade version. There it is. Nice. 
I tried to walk forward and press down, but I pressed down right. Okay, so make this thing appear seven times without destroying anything? Was that what it said? Uh, maybe not too bad. As long as you can, like, line these up. Oh, that's kind of scary, actually. When it's that close. Oh god, I'm in a bad spot. Am I weird? Hey! Yeah, who doesn't kill this thing like immediately? <laughs> okay, what was, what was the one for. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing homework. Um, see, I reached the boss on stage six without shooting a single bullet. No K code. Do I want to try for that? That means I'll have no weapon. Um, fuck that. I wasn't sure how I was getting past that guy. <laughs> It'd be easier on loop one when he doesn't fire as much. Anything that, like, forbids you from, like, pushing a direction, like, I'm always gonna fuck it up at some point. I'm just gonna have a lapse in judgment and instinctively press down, like, oh, fuck. I had to do that on Slice Spy. I had to, like, fucking unmap the, uh, the left on my pad. Because I kept pressing it. Okay, so, um, enter and clear stage 7 using only L weapon. Got it. Uh, apparently if you jump and shoot, you can hit the crouching targets and bases. They gave a hint for it. Lose the laser. <laughs> you learn something new every day, I guess. Oh, I think that was barrier. Could have taken that at least. I don't have to drop laser for that. Okay, thank you for the raid. How's it going?
Oh, it's going. These achievements kind of suck, but... We'll try to do some of them, at least. I just wanted to play Contra. Technical difficulties? Ah, uh, sorry to hear that. That's never fun. Uh-oh. Can't lose it. Okay, what'd they say? Just, like, go run up to it and... Don't destroy the mortars or, or something? Can I get a twofer here? No, I did something wrong. I got the hangar channel. What was the other one? It was... Where is it? It was that thing about open the lair while keep to, while keep to the left. You you just you okay. <laughs> I was supposed to keep to the left. All right, fair enough. Wait, what are the uh, what are the stage eight ones? Don't hurt. Don't even hurt anything else. Fighting. Emperor, Demon, Evil Heart, Gomera, Moss King. Mouthful. And then kill Emperor, Demon, Java without shooting diagonally. I got enough lives to tank it. I'm not playing past loot 2. Maybe. Wow, this is fun. I didn't fire diagonally. That's what it was referring to, right? Pretty sure I didn't fire diagonally. I crouched at some point, but, like, I didn't... I fired, like, horizontally. There was no diagonal in there. Don't tell me that's, like, only coded for loop one. Oh, well. Yeah, I pressed down, but I didn't press... That's not diagonal, that's down. <laughs> Down is not diagonal. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to, like, not hit these things with spread shot. I have to, like, take a death. Fuck! <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm done after look two. <laughs> I died after the <laughs> the Red Falcon session went well. Whatever.
Really gonna make me put in the code? Alright. Yeah, I got 55% just from, like, running through it twice. That's not bad. I mean, I, I reset a few times for, <laughs> for that stuff, but... Yeah, it's worth zero hardcore points, but... But how many retro points is it worth? I don't even have the page up. Also worth zero. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know if I should, uh... If I should try to do the, the no shooting or dying. Considering this is loop three. And everything's gonna be firing a lot more. Let's just kill off the lives. Oh no, I bumped into a dude. Big muscle man can't survive contact damage. Alright, so what are the... Marathon, huh? So there's leaderboards for, like... High score with no loop. That's kind of dumb because you can just farm points wherever. High score on one life. Somebody maxed it out. And then game distance. Um, Yeah, okay, so it did it did submit the uh the the twenty one minutes or whatever whatever it was. Um the highest score here is <laughs> it's not twenty one minutes, but it says six hours, which would be twenty seven loops. Six hours and wait no, six hours and three I thought that was six hours and like thirty minutes. No, that's 24 loops. That's kind of ridiculous. For for one leaderboard. <laughs> that's a lot of loops. Fine, I did the thing. Or did I? I did not. Okay, let's just try to do this. Now the timer thing is counting loops. Like, a loop... It's, it, it says it's like 10 minutes per loop, although it's not really 10 minutes because it takes longer than 10 minutes to do a loop. But that's how they they scored it for some reason. So, I assume that guy did 24 loops. How do I get 
Ja, das ist so gut. Hey, first try, eat a dick. Yeah, it was, it was counting how far the screen scrolled, but it, it counts like... It counts like one minute for every loop, and then just... Uh, rounds it up to 10 for a full... Or, one minute per stage. 10 minutes for a full loop. So I had like... I had like 21... 21 minutes or whatever. Okay, wait, hold on. I need to... I need to fix the focus thing. Fuck it, we doing it. Oh, no we're not. <laughs> there we go, I got the I got the zero point booby prize. Xbox 360 achievements that like give you a uh, give you credit for dying, but they're like zero points. I can aim diagonally. I just can't crouch. I don't know if I'm doing that. Wait a minute, did it say I could use the, uh... Oh, I still didn't get the, the Alien Master one. Yeah, you can't use a Konami code for... For no, uh... No weapons. Oh, slow bullet. Oh, that counted? Oh. Apparently I pressed I pressed down instead of down right for like one frame. Whatever. You gotta you gotta be moving left or right and then and then switch into it. Yeah, apparently they, they let you crouch on energy zone since you're required to do the to do those down jumps. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> kind of dumb. What else is new? I got shot again. So we're not having the spread shot here. Yeah, apparently like for, for this one, if you're going for no crouch and you if you jump and shoot, like it'll hit it. I didn't know that either. Uh 
fuck. Alright, maybe I can't do the three lives thing. Let's see if I can get this one. Well, you have to, like... Hmm. Ah, it's so hard! Wait, it said... It, it just said destroy the shots, not... Not hit them, right? Did it? Without destroying projectiles. Okay, so you're allowed to hit it. But don't destroy it. I can manage that. Don't jump, don't jump. It's really stupid. Nice! Uh, this set is kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do every single one. I'll try until I get pissed off and feel like playing something else. Oh, there's one for, like, not firing on this stage, too. Fuck. One of the icons disappeared when I paused the game. Pretty sure I didn't press... That was the one for, like, don't press up or down. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I don't understand how that happened. My question is, are you allowed to pick up barriers? It's not a weapon. I need lives. I'm definitely not gonna do the oh god. The three lives challenge with a lot of weapon. I should be able to do the three lives challenge now. At least from a new credit. Oh yeah, this one. Without jumping, huh? Yeah, I guess you just start on the left side, but... Hmm... I feel like you'd need, you'd need laser or something to, to do as much damage as possible to the head. It's just like something I need to save state. Shouldn't be doing it now. This is not the run to do it on. Oh, this is gonna take forever without weapons. Rolling pins do not give anywhere near as many points as they do in the arcade. They give like 2,000 points in the arcade. Or something. And that's like a... That's a big leeching thing. I don't want that.
Uh oh, don't want that. Yeah, hell, if you're going for infinite score and you've got infinite time, just you just hold down and auto fire in one of these stages and you're good. Or you can shoot the barrels on the waterfall stage. I score for one loop is a bad idea. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Fuck! Do I even try for this thing? Again, this is something that would probably be easier if I had laser or something. Yeah, this isn't fucking worth it! <sighs> Open up. Open up. Yeah, you gotta sneak those hits in with the laser and just kill it ASAP. This is not the... Oh, yeah, you can't crouch here. <laughs> this is not the run to be doing it on. I might as well just fucking restart at this, this point. Although, then again, I don't think it, like, requires you to, like, do it continuous, right? Let me see if I, like, die and continue, if it actually keeps the, uh, the challenge going, because... I don't care enough to restart just for this this weaponless run. If I have to restart, then so be it. Yeah, I kept it going, alright. That's not a wall. That's not a wall you can just run up against. like a wall there on the arcade version that I'm thinking of. Not as much fun just using the default gun, huh? <laughs> so 
Gotta have that challenge. No firing in the energy zone. This is not the run to be doing it in. I'm already down like a credit. That's not the best way to get around that guy. You just get in his face and crouch? Does he actually like, aim down at you? Sorry, weren't there like two things for this? So reach the boss in stage six without shooting a single bullet. Doesn't say anything about no death. Kill ten gunners without damaging any other object in energy zone stage. So it would take like two runs. It's annoying. Oh wait, what am I doing? Shouldn't be shooting items. Can't crash that. <laughs> what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? That's right, because everybody always has the barrier there. timing on that. Oh, wood already. Ah, oh, man, that's annoying. Gotta wait a little longer. I see now. Uh, I thought I jumped off. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I have. I've, I've kind of stopped the score, too. Like, nine loops of it. Haven't done it in a long time, but I have, I have done it. Today we're out to have as little fun as possible using the default gun and doing these dumb challenges. <laughs> Uh, 
Canada. No rapid, no weapons, no nothing. I was trying to walk on the other. Whatever. lives. <laughs> 100 points at a time. The walls aren't worth anything. Okay, not doing the uh, not doing the mortar challenge here cuz I'm on my last life. Let me move forward, please. That wasn't enough for an extra? Maybe I accidentally, like, pressed diagonal at some point the last time I did this challenge. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going for it now. Hopefully it doesn't... Like, I didn't... I didn't actually, like, fire a shot diagonally, though. Which was really confusing. Seminiferous two bloody old butt noise have left my pants. Oh yeah, I gotta get the, uh, the heart challenge on this at some point, but eh, not worth doing at the moment. Okay, don't 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 kill anything, or don't hurt anything. You're not even allowed to like hit those things. That's asking a bit much. Again, it'd probably be easiest with laser, but... Or you just have enough lives to tank it. There we go. Never again. Okay, so what do I have left? The, um... All the dumb shit! You can't even hurt the arms on the third boss. Uh... The stage seven boss thing I could definitely do. Yeah, don't hurt anything. <laughs> Why is that one like in the, whatever. Reach the boss in stage three without shooting or dying. Reach the boss in stage six without shooting a single bullet. 
It doesn't say no dying, though. Don't press left in the jungle. I should be able to do that. Don't press up or down and get to the boss on the waterfall stage. That's the one that, like, I paused the game and it failed the challenge for some reason. Enter and clear stage 4 using only the F weapon. I'd have to, like, yeah, specifically... Hmm. Specifically make sure to pick that up, like, at the end of stage 3. Kill 10 gunners without damaging any other object. Aliens Lair Challenge, that's bullshit, I did that earlier. Complete the game without crouching, and then... I can definitely do this on three lives, I'm just fucking up like, like mad trying to get these other challenges done. <laughs> Alright, um... Just set it to that one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about some of these. Let's reset. Don't press left on jungle, I can do that. I can definitely do that. I'd have to be really careful on the boss. Sorry, man. Gotta go. I mean, it's basically speedrun strats, but... Well, I can speedrun this. Oh. Ha I can't I can't press left here, huh? Um <laughs> well, not everything can... They can't all be winners, but thank you for uh, enjoying the streams, Coin Tendogoku. I mean, not all the achievements can be winners. But yeah, it's been fun to, to fuck around. I don't know if I'm going to do everything for this. Might might just move on. I just felt like playing some Contra, you know? Every now and then you get that itch, you just got to play some NES Contra. You know how it is. You have a little of Contra. That's a treat. Ranked by IGN is one of the hardest games ever made. Up there with Gil from Third Strike. What the fuck? The game's so hard, you have to use the 30 lives code to finish it. It's impossible otherwise. I did this one right.
No, I have uh, I have not played Holy Diver on stream. I'm not going to play that. I watched a lot of Funk Doc speedruns back in the day. Um, that game looks like suffering. No pressing up or down, huh? Oh, right, I have to get the flamethrower. I missed the barrier. Uh, there's like a separate achievement for uh, for not pressing up or, or not not aiming up or down on on stage three until the boss. It's the the waterfall icon that's like active on the bottom right. Like there is a whole achievement for finishing the game without crouching, except for stage six. But uh, ah, fuck. Ah, oh, luckily it doesn't have to be deathless. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm in danger. Actually, I think I'm allowed to crouch, I'm just not allowed to fire up. Or down. Bloop. Anyway, I can't I can't do this this boss achievement without like having having laser or something. Default gun's not gonna not gonna do it. Journey to Silius that well. I like the music though. It's another one I should probably play at some point. Weapon. Ah. Actually, should I should I just restart? What else do I, I? I need a yeah. I need like something for the boss. If I want to get if I want to even try that challenge. I think I have all the stage five challenges. The stage six ones are the the dumb shit. Like, maybe I can just run through it with whatever lives I have to get that one out of the way. Rapid, gee, thanks. That's gonna help. I guess it's better than nothing. want a laser or though. No, I need I needed to like go into stage four with the fire shot. Fuck. Thought I jumped it. Yeah, I can't I can't do this one without a weapon.
Jesus Christ. Maybe I can't tank it with lives. <laughs> I'm dying too much. I don't have a weapon. I mean, there's there's definitely this stigma of, of people acting like like this game cannot be done without the 30 lives code because people just didn't want to try it without, I guess, once they learned of it. But like, I didn't even like know about the code at first when I when I got this on the NES, so I ended up I ended up learning the game the hard way, and it was definitely it was definitely more fun that way. What's available for this run? Uh, there's stuff on stage six to like either get through the stage without without firing a single shot or blow up ten of the gunners without like hitting anybody else. Which both of those are pretty stupid, but maybe I can knock out one of them. Uh, there's a there's a leaderboard thing for the for the page on uh, retro achievements that's apparently tracking your score through the the first loop, which um, not a great idea because that just that just means you have to leech. <laughs> I don't know why it's there. But then I guess there was also a, a, a thing for for highest score on one life, and people people maxed that out, or at least one person maxed it out. There might be a toggle for it. I just kind of left it on by default. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Jumpy boys, jumpy boys, crouchy boys, get out of here. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, this is scary. I didn't say it had to be deathless, so I assume I can I can take a death. this part. This dude. This dude. Alright. That is so hard without the barrier. Who even goes this route? Me, apparently.
I made it! <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to duck in that part. This is the only stage you're allowed to do the uh, the crouching challenge on. Or only stage you're allowed to crouch on for the crouching challenge, I mean. It's like they, they they were coming up with the challenge and then they're like, oh fuck. You can't do stage six without crouching. Well I guess we'll allow it there. Don't tell anybody. Um Okay, so there's Is that one where is it? Open the lair while keep to the left from the mortars. Do I even have the lives for this? I need, like, a weapon. No! Fester's quest gun. I can't believe these walls are worth zero points. Yeah, it still sucks, but now it sucks faster. Uh-oh, I can't get that. <laughs> I fucked that up. Good shit. Didn't go down. I like to jump it. Do the thing without a weapon. I'm probably gonna hit some of the mortars, right? Or somebody's gonna run into me from the left side, right? Okay, if you stay on the left, they just... Okay. They actually come out the door. How about that? I move forward a little too much. Dumb challenge. <laughs> no! Fire faster shot. Okay. I can actually get the spread gun this time, should be fine. Phone Frank now! Help me, Frank! <laughs> I hadn't fallen for that like the last 10 credits and then it happened there.
I don't remember how to get through that part. That last one. I thought you'd jump over it, but then last time it didn't <laughs> it didn't go down at all. I got hit by the mix-up. Didn't duck in time. Man. Okay. Can't get enough points for an extra life on this stage. Okay, so I can't I can't jump on it when it's like coming up. Only when it's like fully up there. I can't use the tracker if I use Bizhawk. That's the problem now. And that thing looks nicer for for stream layout. So I'm glad Bizhawk supports it though. I'm glad people can do this stuff without having to use RetroArch. But I figure if I'm doing this stream stuff, I might as well well leave the tracker up. forward. Where is it? Son of a bitch! Double whammy. There we go. Whatever. I went to the I went to the trouble of getting this piece of shit emulator running right. I'm stuck with it now. <laughs> I was actually more excited about the uh, the prospect of uh, of Bishawk having a main core. Oop! Don't shoot that. I was like, oh man, you could probably do like a, you could do a shuffler in MAME, but the uh, the problem is, uh, it takes a while to like switch games because it's it's loading like different hardware, and so things go go a lot slower than uh, than it would for like an NES shuffler or something. Yeah, Arcade Pit could use it now. So that needs to happen now. Okay, no firing diagonally, huh? Alright, I'll play your game again. Yeah, finally Arcade Pit might have actual arcade games. <laughs> no fear. Okay, so that one counted. That actually counted. I don't know what I did different other than not crouching. Challenge. 
about the hell jump. Do I have the lives to tank? Oh, tank this. Maybe? That's too fucking hard! I need, like, a lot more lives. Also, I don't know if I'm allowed to shoot this thing. I'm probably not allowed to shoot the facehuggers, but... Okay, I, well, I failed this challenge. There's another case where I think, like, I'd need the laser or something, but there's no laser pickups on this stage. It seems like you need, like, a lot of lives going in here. Don't hurt anything else. I don't know if that counts the face at the bottom. Yeah, you can probably get that before the screen scrolls, but I don't know if... I don't know what counts. Should I just try again? It's my last continue anyway. Start making save states so I can, can try some of this stuff. Also, I thought that thing would give me enough points for an extra life. There we go. You can make save states when you're in hardcore, you just can't load them. Pretty sure, yeah. Alright, yeah, so let's, um... Uh, I always forget what the button is. <laughs> Slot one. I don't know if shooting that thing just voided it. Okay, I hit the thing at the top. Spread's not good for this. Obviously. But there's no laser pickup. Oh, now I get the good pattern. Oh, I killed one. That wouldn't count. Yeah, I assume it's it's only referring to like the little the, the face hugger creators, the face hugger eggs, and not the head at the bottom. But I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's no indicator for that one. There's indicators for most things, but there's no indicator for that. I don't, I don't have many left. It's just the ones that are left are fucking stupid. I mean, the base challenge, maybe that's... Doable? I have no idea 
how to beat the third boss without without even hurting the arms. Like it'd be one thing if it was don't destroy them. Without hurting them means you're not allowed to land a single shot on them. That's that's extreme. Defeat Phantom without hitting any of its projectiles or destroying turret. Again, you you fucking need the laser going into it. Like you absolutely have to have it. I have no idea what the heart requirement is. Reach the boss in stage three without shooting or dying. No thanks. And clear stage four. Yeah, that one's doable. I just have to have the the faster shot before I get there. Kill ten gunners without damaging any other object. That's that's annoying because <laughs> you can't. Yeah, you can't kill anything else. And then, of course, complete the game without crouching. Fuck that. And win the game with the lives he started with. I, sh I should be able to do that. It's just I keep trying to do these dumb achievements, and I end up losing lives to those. I have to, like, stay focused on that. What does Fester's Quest have? I don't even want to know. I never finish that. What if you have more lives than when you started? It it fails after you after your third death. So it's like pretending you don't have any extras, so. In other words, just use three lives. Yeah, the game can apparently be done without crouching. It's just, um... Except for, except for Energy Zone. Yeah, you're gonna have more than three lives, but it says challenge, fa challenge ends after your third death. So you just, you just ignore the extras. Crouched. <laughs> All right, I, I got to get this one. My pride is on the line. There is a flame shot pickup in stage three, right? I can't do the the crouchless challenge. It's stupid. No, my rapid. Oh, my rapid various. Wow, I destroyed the one in back first. How many people have done the Crouchless Challenge? Five hundred and twenty, or no, three hundred and thirty-five people out of nine thousand nine hundred eighty-seven. That's way more than I was expecting. Holy shit. Oh, you can... It, it says no... Uh, it doesn't have the thing that says no uh, Konami code, so you can just use 30 lives on it. Like, most of them... Most of them say, like, you can't use the Konami code. But that one specifically, you can. See? But like the rest of these, no K code. No K code. No K. Okay, you can do the last boss. Whatever, whatever this challenge is, you can have thirty lives for it. Same with that one, but yeah, fucking whatever. <laughs> Let 
And then I gotta play another game with 30 lives? I feel so dirty. I don't use a Konami code on this. And yeah, they say, like, hint, jump on base stage, because there's this one where you would have to crouch, right? Except if you jump, you can hit it. Fucking... Ah. Why did I show that off? <laughs> well, look, it is, it is one of the hardest games ever made, apparently. Almost as hard as Gil in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. How did I not kill that guy in time? Okay, look, I have to get the three lives thing. This is important to me. I mean, the thing about, like, the, the clear the game achievements for this is that they they never, like, specify it has to be, like, no continues. Like, you're allowed to use continues, I guess. All three of them. Except, of course, for this three lives only thing. Yeah, yeah, I guess it doesn't really need to specify that if it if it fails after three deaths. That is kind of unnecessary. Just covering all the bases, I guess. Definitely harder games on the NES than this, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Holy Diver was already mentioned. I... Yeah, like, I, I watched enough of, like, Funk Doc speedrunning that, that it definitely did not look like a game I wanted to play. It seemed like just all memorization. Also, that was, like, not a... Not a super, like, stream-friendly game, because, like, the screen is just constantly flashing when you're doing, like, the time stop bullshit. Or the, the ice stuff, whatever that was. And if it's not running at 60 frames per second, like, you, it's gonna look like garbage. I'll let y'all in on a little secret. I've never finished Battletoads. I never got past Klinger Winger. Okay, wait, no, I did I did save state past it, but I, I never did it legit. I just could not fucking do Klinger Winger. Fucking hateful game. Was I, I was supposed to get a flame shot, wasn't I? Is there a flame shot on the stage? I probably already missed it. Or 
Maybe it's right here. No. Hmm. Alright, so you gotta get the flame shot really fucking early. But yeah, it's always... Battletoads is like one of those games I've always wanted to, to finish, but man. That requires playing Battletoads. I don't know what it was, but I was always I was always awful at the turbo tunnel too. I'd always take the warp at the very end, because fuck that. Yeah, I guess pilot, like Nintendo Power pushed the shit out of it. <laughs> I got like fucking five million pages in that one issue. Funny thing is, I have finished Battle Maniacs. Like, I thought Battle Maniacs was way, way easier. That original Battletoads? Ugh. I don't know, like, yeah, like, part of me just wants to beat it to say I've done it, <laughs> but it requires playing the game. And then I say, ah, eh, no, nah, let's, let's play Contra instead. I would have to get in here with the laser for that achievement, huh? Yeah, I did finish Battletoads and Double Dragon, but that was on emulator. Maybe I used save states. I didn't play it when it was new. I probably did save state it. weapon. Oh, crap. Like I said, I didn't I didn't finish Fester's Quest. That was that was another game that got pushed in 
Nintendo Power and rented it. Never would have... How the fuck are you gonna figure out, like, you're supposed to, like, go into a house and, like, run into a wall and get, get an extra hit point. Which is pretty fucking important when you start with only two hit points. Even with the Nintendo Power Assist, I was like, uh... <laughs> this, is tough. this sucks. Somebody get a body bag! Exactly, the Ultima. Thank you for the... for the 100 tickets. Oh, what's in there? Daydreamin' Davy. Another game that got a big Nintendo Power push. And then that game got, like, delayed, like... For, like, I don't know, like, six months or something before it came out. Awesome! Kids just dreaming about everybody trying to beat the shit out of them. Whatever. No! My deathless run. Alright, I'm allowed one more death. I did finish the first Ninja Turtles game once. I didn't want to play it again, like, <laughs> ever again after that. I somehow managed to get into, into a into a safe spot where, like, I just, like, stood above the uh, Shredder with Donatello and kept, kept attacking downwards and he just died and it felt so anticlimactic. Fuck that game. But then, like, I watched a, I watched a stream where somebody was speedrunning it, and I sort of like picked up some tips, like the like the the right way to like manipulate the the jetpack assholes in the Technodrome. That said, I still haven't touched that game again since then. Guys, let me go forward. Thank you. Oh, wait, it's a rapid. I need that. Oh well, whatever. Oh god, oh god, okay, 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 okay. I fucked up again. Come on. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Spikes have moods. I got out neutral. Well, this is my last life for the challenge. How do I manage to fuck this stage up every time?
Can't believe Daydreaming Davey was murdering people in school. Wumpy had it coming. Like, don't, don't fuck with a kid's pencil. He needs that to, like, write and stuff. He's not just playing pretend, he only knows like three three different realms he can pretend in. <laughs> That's the other thing, like Old West, Greek times, and um, medieval times. And then they ran out of ideas. That said, I never actually played Daydream and Davey, I was just watching the Chubo stream the other day. So that's like me sneaking in Time Soldiers references in my in my Bubble Bobble fanfic. <laughs> Oop. There we go. Gotcha. I want to just run up and mash the spread shot, but this is, this is effectively my last life. Alien Master! Wasn't quite deathless, but whatever. I know, Ghost Pilot. I think that I think that was part of like my my fascination with Time Soldiers. Like it had really cool like cabinet and bezel artwork where they're just fucking they're just fucking murdering like hundreds of dudes. Just murdering all these Greek dudes with a bazooka. It was really cool cabinet art. Alright. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Yeah, I finally beat it. Definitely didn't do it, like, at least four or five times tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the rest of these. I can't believe, like, 500 people have done the... the no crouching, but if... if you're allowed to use the 30 lives code, maybe it's not that bad. What's, like, the rarest of these? Only 5.05% for the Phantom Penance. 4.05% for the I have my arms, but I must scream. Only 4.5% for the intern clear stage 7 using only the laser weapon? That wasn't that bad. There's a lot of people, like, firing up Contra on, on RetroArch, but... <laughs> a lot of people just want to play Contra and don't, uh... Go for some Chivos, but then they see shit like... 
Reach the boss without shooting a single bullet. Fuck that. Four point one seven percent on kill the energy zone challenge. Kill ten gunners without damaging any other object. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's some there's some uh, fighting going on in the. Uh, the comment wall. 10 out of 10 for originality. 1 out of 10 for stupidly high level of difficulty of some of the achievements, even on softcore mode. And then somebody else said, This set is fine. Stop complaining. It's, or no, this set is fire. Stop complaining. It's optional, mate. You can enjoy retro games without Chivos. Thanks to all devs for the amazing sets. And then the other guy said, No, it's not. Have a nice day. You can enjoy retro games without Chivos. Wow, you don't say that? Really? <laughs> and then the other guy says, Nothing wrong with my statement. Nobody forces you to do optional Chivos. Unofficial website, remember? And your comment above me, 1 out of 10 for stupidly high level, is complaining at a, at a high level and an insult to the dev. And then the other guy said, Yeah, yeah, oh, insult. I replied to an opinion, and you insulted yourself and came here to cry. I don't want to discuss anything with you. Go on with your life. Have a nice day. And then it kind of died off. <laughs> yeah, Digimon Otis and Tekken Chauncey are, are fighting in the, the comment wall. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I want to want to spend any more time on this. Can we play some Super C? Probably should have uh, looked at the achievements for that. <laughs> I think I did, I just don't remember what they are. Oh good, RetroArt crashed. You're not allowed to switch games. <laughs> yeah, Spartan Bear, there were a there was a lot of uh <laughs> there was a lot of anger in the general chat. You gotta follow the rules of engagement. Oh, it's not even in my history now. God damn it. Is okay. Heaven forbid you switch games on your emulator. Asking a bit much. Be gone, achievements. Be gone. Takes a while to update. Poof. I just like watching the animation. <laughs> oh, this is RA Tracker, yeah. Alright, what are we looking at here? It's probably the same person who... Actually, I think uh, I think it's like a group of people that have worked on this. So, huh? uh, complete every area. BD stayed without dying. Okay, those are... Those are better than some of the, the other shit we've seen. Um, in area one, without destroying them, pass the first two gun turrets and do not kill any green enemies. Defeat the chopper boss without jumping. Oh, another... Finish stage two without turning back. Another one where you can't press left. Defeat the area two boss by killing only the green soldier. No lives, cheat! Cross the area three swamp without shooting or dying. Move one side to another on the top of Babalu Destructoid Mechanism. 
Hold right throughout the entire earthquake session. Oh, God, I don't remember all that. Um, carefully remove the core protection. I think it's just destroying everything around it. Reach boss on area four. That's the elevator without shooting down, up, or diagonally. Yeah. Does that allow crouch shots? Because I assume to shoot down is, you know, jump and sh fire down. An area four boss destroy all but the outside beam guns. Oh, I get it. Climb the cliff on area five while not falling below. While not falling below bottom third of the screen. Okay, this is getting stupid. Being on the cliff on area five, reach the boss without shooting or dying. What? <laughs> While fighting fifth boss, remain prone for a while without killing anything. Game of prones. Oh god, another one where you can't press left. Crust corridor full of spiky balls without shooting or dying. Give critical damage to sixth boss, not killing his projectiles or the snake. What the fuck is critical damage? Reach boss in area seven without jump. Oh god, another one of these. Okay, this is kind of bad. <laughs> Get through the boss in Area 7 without killing any crawlers. Beat the Area 7 boss without jumping, dying, or using power-ups. Bare bones and naked gun. Reach the boss in Area 8 without killing any running aliens. Ugh. Defeat last boss at far range. No spread weapon. Beat any boss with laser weapon. The most OP weapon, really. Complete the game, no live cheat code. Complete the second run. Oh, there's default weapon only again. Enable the sound mode. Beat the default high score. Oof. And yeah, like I said, I don't know this game as well as the original. So there's definitely... There's definitely going to be a lot of things I've forgotten. So I don't know how much of this we're going to get. <laughs> Should at least try to finish it and maybe do second loop. Retro arc is nice. I don't know about that. Hello, arcade player. <laughs> okay. Good demo. What is this? <laughs> this pack of achievements sucks. Very bad and boring ideas. Screw all developers! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn. All developers, fuck it. No discrimination. They all suck. <laughs> and then, yeah. Very cool and creative set. My respect. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you don't... You don't... Fuck, my controls aren't set. You don't want to piss off Sting 666-14666. How do I fucking set my dual sense to, like, automatically have, uh... Oh, fuck. How did I get in here? I can't go back to the... What the fuck? What is going on? Where the fuck am I? No, I'm trying to get back to the... Where's my history? Escape. No. I am in quick... Okay, there we go. I thought I was in quick menu.
Okay, button one, A button, please. Disable this bullshit. Thank you very much. Save file. Reset. Yeah, I accidentally got into the main menu instead of the the good menu. Oh, good emulator. Maybe I should just say fuck it to the uh, to the tracker and just just use Bizhawk. <laughs> I like having the tracker there for stream purposes, though. Can't kill the house. I, I'm, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of arcade Super Contra. RA assist. Hmm. I'll have to look into that then. Screw all developers. Hold, uh, hold up, I'm, I need to see this guy's profile now. Sting 6661466. Site rank 631 out of 37,665. He's in the top 1,000. And he said, screw all developers. Uh, he actually got... No, wait a minute. There's like a, a subset for Contra. Oh, it's a co-op thing. He played back... <laughs> well, we were talking about Battletoads on the Mega Drive. He was playing it. <laughs> Although he didn't, he didn't get all of them. Last five games played. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy on the Super Nintendo. Ugh. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be doxing this guy. <laughs> I'm not doxing him. It's all, it's all info that's like right there on the page. He got all the achievements for Streets of Rage 3. Not Bare Knuckle 3, Streets of Rage 3. I don't even want to touch that. Mortal Kombat 2 Hummer Team on the NES. Unlicensed. Oh, he played WWF Raw. What a shock. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, like, uh, like the PS1 DDRs have... Have achievements too. I caught that when I was looking at somebody else's profile. Um, do I really want to do that though? Those VODs would get so muted. People would get mad if I'm not using that dance pad. What was that achievement? I'm supposed to jump over the fucking turrets? Oh, that's fast! I forgot how fast that was. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, sorry. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let me try to jump over this. Oh, that guy can just run through, of course. Yeah, you can! Although I think I said only the first two. Anyone that hung up on completionism? Yeah. <laughs> He's in the top 1,000. My rank is like, uh, like 2,900, 2,800 something. So he's higher ranked than me, but I haven't been, I haven't been doing this for that long. I mostly did this for just an ex as an excuse to play some, some arcade games again. Fucking! Oh, yeah, I got. 
Let's get a real credit going. I think I could make top 1,000 if, by uh, by the end of the year, maybe. <laughs> Actually, I don't I don't know what the uh, the threshold is for top 1,000. That's whatever. I'm not really doing it for sight rank. I'm. I do like getting a little mastery badge on on some of these. I was the first person to get the mastery on Dynagear. And, um, and Crawl. Just stick with the fire shot. Fire's kind of bad for that. Hunter? Arcade or NES? I don't really know NES Spy Hunter that well. But, wow, those hurts died really fast in this one. But that's definitely, like, something I should play, huh? I don't think Arcade had a set, did it? seen it. Maybe I missed it. The problem with Arcade Spy Hunter is that I can't fucking, uh... I can't get analog controls just right. Like, I was trying to... trying to get, like, the accelerator to not, uh... to not go to max, but it was too... too difficult. Because I... I love playing Spy Hunter on cabinet. If I can find an arcade spy hunter cabinet, I will I will definitely try to take the high score on it. But I just cannot cannot play it in MAME. The achievement author said laser is the most OP weapon. I think there was a there there was like something for yeah beat a boss with laser and then you can do it on the stage. than arcade. No way, Belmont, it's a hot take. Let me uh let me post man with swords pointed at him dot jpeg. Can't post anything with that that image to accompany it. God. I'm so fucking sick of it. <laughs> The most OP weapon, really. In a tight squeeze, hero. Okay, what was the swamp one? Like, just, uh, don't fire? Should I even like, go for that? It's weird, like, the... I don't 
know what it is, like, the, the angle on the diagonal laser does feel off. Like, it doesn't feel like a, a 45 degree angle. different weapon. Does he come up for air in this like he does in the arcade? See me. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh oh. Oh, the gatekeeper. Oh, that counts? Alright. I wasn't out yet, but alright. We take those. I like that hang on achievement I got the other day. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to like get out. So I'm supposed to hold right for the entire time? Oh boy. Ah, fuck. I'm still holding right. I never, I never let go. Although I did, I did aim down. Oh, I guess that didn't count. Oh, I did. It did. Alright. So I guess they want me to kill each of these. Because I already fucked up the, uh, Deathless. Uh-oh. what it said. Destroy the, all the pods. This is gonna take forever with the default gun. Scroll it off the screen. Probably better just guy guy he fired a shot. Okay, I might as well just fucking restart at this point. <laughs> Hate the fucking bubbles.
Actually, I guess we could go for the... the boss achievement. And again, I need a weapon. Getting revenge for Monday. I already suffered enough on Monday. Hey, it's extra points. You gotta kill it. <laughs> Might get you closer to an extra life. I forgot what the, what the Chivo was here. Some like, don't fire up or something. <laughs> something dumb. Screw all developers. Or diagonal, yeah. Actually, Spread's gonna make this a little harder if I'm just trying to destroy certain things from the boss. <laughs> yeah, Master System Rygar was... it was hard. That, was, that game was nasty. Shower curtain. Oh, that wasn't deathless. I died at the beginning. <laughs> fucking bubble machine. God, fucking U.S. Konami manuals, man. What did it say for this stage? Stay in the top third of the screen? Some shit. I guess you're just never allowed to fall down. General Vermin Katafi. What's up, Green K4? I'm trying too hard not to fall down. Oh yeah, Fred Scare and Paula Abghul in Castlevania 4. God. Konami, what the fuck? I guess it doesn't count as not being in the bottom third, huh? Be nice if there was a a progress thing for that. But alas. Uh oh.
What was the thing here? It was probably no jumping. Uh, Psychic Psycho, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you very much for the resub. Only <laughs> shot chases after enemies like a dog dipped in honey. Okay, so I I did finish. Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. Um. Ah. <coughs> I'm not doing a bit. I'm really dying. Um, I did finish like NES Metal Gear, and yeah, it does have the the big boss thing. I rented Snake's Revenge, and I had no fucking idea what was going on in that game. <laughs> I did not finish it. That game was fucked up. Oh, the weapons actually disappear in this game, that's right. God, is this like the arcade version? I... I try to take my time and then one pops up where I am and I can't get out of the way. Ah, oh, man. That shit always gets me. But in the arcade version, you have the the big shell. Oh yeah, they wanted you to like do this without shooting, but then I, I saw the power-ups and I'm like, I want power-ups! I'm the pop-up. Oh, this part without firing? Yeah, 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 I don't know about that. boss in the arcade version. But there's two more stages after this. Hotter than T-H-E-N, hell. I swear, like, every every achievement set has to have a, a, a typo in either the, the title or the description. What did I pick up? Quick shot. Or rapid shot. It gets hotter, and then you're in hell. The natural progression of things. Can't, can't have Metal Gear in, in NES Metal Gear. Instead, you just fight a supercomputer. The thing is, I never did, like, I never did whatever the thing was, like, you had to do to actually, like, damage the supercomputer, like, finding the... finding the professor or whatever, because there was that, that glitch where if you pressed, like... if you pressed right, like, immediately when, when you went into the supercomputer room, you just skipped it and got to the last fight, and then if, when you killed the last boss, like, the timer doesn't go off. That's the only way I've ever finished NES Metal Gear. It's like, okay, we have to escape the base, but we got infinite time.
never goes low, huh? Creature from outer space, hero. Creature from outer space. Okay, what was the achievement for that? I missed it. Oops, I didn't want to save state. That's not what I clicked. Um... Without jump... Oh, without using power-ups. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I remember it being something about not jumping, and I definitely didn't jump. Turns out it was no power-ups. Fair enough. Understandable. Have a great day. Shouldn't be destroying these things, huh? Yep. Goodbye, spread shot. Ah! Forgot about that! Damn, they got me. Let's fire awfully fast. I hope that wasn't all the weapons. There were so many power-up pickups and I just, like, ignore them all. There we go. Take that. Fired forward! Fuck off. Oh god. It's anxiety-inducing. Okay, so I don't have a weapon for the last boss, huh? That sucks. There's no 30 life code in this, it's 10 lives. Too bad you're at the perfect angle. That's the last boss. Go straight to staff roll. I can't even consider myself a hero. Consider yourself nothing. Outside the window. 
Matriarch's not liking it. Umechan team. Okay, so we're... There was a two-loop thing. I might as well do that. <laughs> now that I know what the levels are again. Of course, it's a little harder. Not that much. I did miss the, the deathless achievements on at least a few stages. I don't know if I'll get them this time, but we might as well try. What was the, uh, what was the stage one thing? Beat the chopper boss without jumping. Right. I jumped before it. I don't know if it, it's gonna not count it now. stuck in here. Come back! Did that actually count? Okay, I did. The anti-aerial attack. I think it was like six games a year, yeah. And that's what led to Konami making uh, making the whole Ultra Games thing. So yeah, like Konami had like had had they had so many games to choose from. Like when the NES was like you know getting big, but they couldn't they they couldn't release all of them. So you had things like. Uh, like the original Goonies game didn't get released on on home cartridge. It got a Play Choice 10 release. It got a Versus system release. But I guess by the time the NES was like picking up steam, it was like they didn't think it was as strong a game. So they released the Goonies too. This confusing, confusing mess of a game. I know some people like it. I don't really like it though. I like Goonies 1. Goonies 2 you need a fucking guide for. That was just in America. Nintendo was like very... Nintendo of America was very controlling about the, a lot of things.
They didn't, they didn't want the NES to be filled with, like, a lot of garbage like the Atari 2600 was. So they put in, you know, quality concerns. <laughs> and Nintendo had to produce all the cartridges themselves, so they had, like, the final say in, like, how many... how much of a production run games got and shit like that. I mean, yeah, un unlicensed games happen, but, like, it also, like, Nintendo, like, threatened retailers to, like, not carry, like, Color Dreams games and shit like that. So there was a, there was a lot of bullshit going on. I am on the in the black market. I can't believe I actually, like, I rented Tengen Tetris from <laughs> from the local HEB, which was a, a grocery store in Texas. They actually had game rentals there, and they, they had Tengen Tetris before, like, you know, the, the lawsuit and all that. If I'd only known what was going to happen to that cartridge... I don't like them. <laughs> really makes me wish I just stole it. <laughs> Commit a little thievery as a treat. Remember the it wasn't it wasn't H E B, I think it was it was the Movie Land video. They had the, the Tengen port of uh, Shinobi. I actually rented that and like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> At least you have a health bar, I guess, but wow, too bad. I wish it was like just like the Sega Master System version, I guess, but I didn't uh, I had no familiarity with that. I don't think I finished it. I guess I haven't seen any NES Shinobi's ending. <laughs> hey, you get an ending in the arcade version that sounds more like an intro. Damn, I got ten lives? Jesus Christ. Bubble machine! Bubble machine! Bubble machine! Just imagine being like a burly, burly Arnold Schwarzenegger looking dude with a gun. Like 
think you went. You went to the gym. You fucking pumped iron. Worked out. Had these big muscles. And then you touch a bubble and you just fucking die instantly. Instant death. Yeah, and if you're a robot, even worse. Made out of aluminum. How is this bubble destroying a robot? Bother doing everything for this. I just want to get the two loops. seen the, yeah, like the, the Tengen version of Miss Pac-Man, like, always comes up on Arcade Pit. Yo, know, fuck that game. It has some, it has some offensive words in the, the later stages. Worse than gamer. Way worse. <laughs> I'll let you figure out what it says. What's up, Tech? Yeah, I remember renting RBI Baseball. That was another, yeah, another Tengen game. Eh? Fuck! Okay. Did I do the stage Deathless the first time? I think I did. I didn't do stage 6. understand how you're supposed to get that thing staying at the top staying above the bottom third of the screen or whatever it said. Probably no jumping. Uh oh. This game seems way more way more generous with the extra lives. Either that or I'm just dying a lot less. 
I don't feel like I should have 10 lives. Alright, should, should I just gun it here? Those faces don't stop. I feel like doing this part. Could be a could be a fun challenge, but not now. Try to do this deathless. I wish this had the little progress icons at the bottom right, like it did in the in the other contra. But. Hotter than hell. They still didn't spell it right. Just copy paste. <laughs> Man. Dragon's Fury does have retro achievements, but like. Finishing the game means like getting a billion points, and. Fucking nobody's done that legit. Ah, where did you come from? I kind of wanted to... <laughs> Damn, from the top rope! Yeah, I don't even remember, like, what my... what my PB was on that, but... I probably didn't even, like, break a hundred million. I never even, like, cleared all the bonus stages. Like, there was one I could never fucking do. But I was just, like, looking at that, and... It reminded me of, like, I was looking... I, I was looking on YouTube for the, uh... Uh, for the, for the music. The, the main theme of that game is so good. And there was, like, a fucking... <laughs> there was a heated flame war going on in the comments from from, uh, between one guy who was like, this sounds like utter shit compared to the PC Engine version, and just complaining, complaining about everything. And then somebody else saying, like, they like this version better, and then the other, the PC Engine guy was unwilling to... thought it was just complete garbage, and... I don't know. I thought it was funny. The PC Engine had a version of Dragon's Fury, which was called Devil Crush. I mean, I prefer the Genesis version, but I'm not going to get enough flame war about it, though. I just feel like the Genesis sense, like, suited better. But yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I'll play that at some point. <laughs> just to fuck around with it. Oh yeah, the the jump scare alien. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see you. Stealth 100. engine slash turbo guy but maybe uh, maybe I'll run something for for these achievos at some point oh wait I did I did play last alert that one time <laughs> God, I, I I tried learning arcade ninja spirit. Uh, fuck that entire final stage. Fuck all of it. I haven't gone back to it. Standing in midair. Sick. Oh. It's weird it plays the, the jingle like before the, the last boss shows up in in Super Contra Arcade. Make you think it's over and then the, the big face comes in. Floating on Thanos. Hit that dab. So what do I... God, this... I've, I've done, like, nothing with all these... All these challenges. <laughs> Slipping on Slurp Juice. Oh, yeah. Finish stage two without turning back. Which would be pressing down. Defeat the area two boss by killing only the... Oh. Oh, that's, that's doable. Oh, it's not destroy all the uh, the cores. It's only destroy the metal thing. Ah, aha. Probably need laser for that. Uh, I reach boss in area four without shooting down, up, or diagonally. Oosh. Oof. This one. Climb the cliff on area five while not falling below the bottom third of the screen. What the fuck? Also, they they didn't spell ascension right. Being on the cliff on Area 5, reach the boss without shooting or dying. While fighting 5th boss, remain prone for a while without killing anything. It had, it's throwing things down at you. How do you do that? And then Stage 6 is the same thing. Don't press down. Yeah, for a while. You'll just have to guess. Cross the corridor full of spiky balls without shooting or dying. Oh, without dying, too. Oof. Give critical damage to six boss, not killing its projectiles or the snake. What the... Just do a lot of damage. <laughs> Each boss in Area 7 without jumping or shooting down, up, or diagonal. What? What stage is that? Can you even do that? You have to, like, jump across, don't you? Uh, 
Oh, I reached the boss in area without killing any. That's without killing any running aliens. That's the one I was thinking of. Jeez. Complete the game with default weapon only. Enter the lives cheat code. Enable the sound mode. Hmm. I don't know about all that. Three. So let me try to do the, the turret thing. So don't kill any green enemies after you jump the turrets. I'll just try to avoid them. Jump this dude. Baby, I jumped four at once. It's worth 800 points. It was Donkey Kong. No, no, it'd be worth 500 points. Ooh, oh, that was almost sick. That was almost some task shit. Oh god. I can shoot those guys, right? Did it say without dying? <laughs> Didn't say without dying. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Be right back. Oh, right, it hangs on the continue screen. Whoops. <laughs> well, I got half of them. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Or just like two loops. But I don't know if I want to pursue everything else. <laughs> That's. <laughs> There's a lot of window open of, of Sting 666 Started laughing again. What's my rank on the site now? 2,629. Hey, I'm moving up. 
I'm almost in the top 2,500. The top 6.98% on the site. Not bad. Not bad considering I've only been, like, doing these, these Chivo things for, like, a couple months. That's out of, like, 37,666 ranked users, so... Although it says, like, there's, like, way more on the... Um, on the main site. 393,499 registered players. But only 37,000 in the leaderboard? Although I think you have to get, like, a certain number of... hardcore points before it gives them to you or whatever. Or puts you in the thing. Five hundred points. All right. And maybe there's some people that didn't even realize they weren't uh, they weren't doing stuff on on soft core instead of hardcore. The retro ratio, or that's the uh, the retro points that are like in parentheses for each each achievement. And the rarer the achievement is, like the more retro points it's worth. So if you have like a low retro ratio, that means you're just going after easy shit, I guess. Like my ratio is four point five five. Like I guess I got some. Gotten some tricky ar arcade ones, I guess. Yeah, it's just another dick measuring number. <laughs> Not really worth worrying about. Did both players get killed by the same bullet before the demo cut off? A demo does not instill much confidence. For a game that's not actually that hard. Oh, I never put in the code. I don't even remember the code. <laughs> it's, it's not the it's not the Konami code yet. It's only worth zero points. I think. Right, left, down, up, AB. Maybe I did BA. This is worth like zero points, so whatever. Not doing it right. <laughs> right, left, down, up, A, B. Oh! There it goes. Yay! Alright, what's the sound, sound code test? Hold A and B and press start, that's it. Cool. I guess 10 lives is enough of a legion for them. Ah, come on, Gachar, come on. Oh, 
Well, given that I don't want to... I don't want to do the rest of this shit. Actually, I could get the, those stage 2 achievements, I think. I like how I beat every area without dying except for area 4. Because of the fucking bubbles. Like, some of these I feel like I could do... This stupid cliff one... I... I guess you just have to, like, scroll the screen in a very particular way. Um, I don't even know what this means. <laughs> oh, I guess when you're going down, just don't, don't shoot at anybody. Remain prone for a while, without killing anything. Critical damage to six boss without killing his projectiles with a snake. What the hell does critical damage mean? I remember the uh, those awful arcade Street Fighter Two achievements. It said like don't take critical damage on any stage, and that just means like don't get to the point where KO starts flashing. For whatever reason, they call it critical damage. Each boss in Area 7 without jumping or shooting down, up, or, or diagonally. That's... stupid. <laughs> Get through the boss in Area 7 without killing any crawlers. And then if you have a power-up, you have to lose it before the Area 7 boss. Such ugly thing. Defeat last boss at far range. Hmm. Do I want to try the default default gun achievement? Hmm. I don't know if it said anything about whether you could get the, uh, the rapid shot. I always forget how big that hitbox is. Oh, hold on a sec. There we go. Just tabbed out for a second. Well, apparently it's taking my input. Look at those guys behind the sandbags also do the do the line prone with the, the feet up in the air. Talking about what voice they like at the uh, the slumber party. Yeah, it's a unique sprite for that, that one point. And then that dude's gone. Like, the guy's throwing the grenades. There's a there's a few of them in the arcade version. There's at least two of them. There's one on the boss. It's all about those knife guys that, uh... 
that only appear when you play Arcade Contra on the hardest or... Hard or hardest difficulty on Stage 1. They show up in like the first 15 seconds, and then you never see them again. And they're not on default settings. Totally not on that platform. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh no, my pad broke. I can't go down. Gotta be really careful advancing the screen, though. <laughs> I pressed down there. Thank God it didn't register. Oh God, oh God. That dude just ran me over. Nope. God. Did I, did I fuck up the camera? Oh, God. This is dumb. Why don't I have an extra life yet? I was commenting earlier about how it felt like the, this game gave you so many extra lives, and I don't have any. Thank God nobody made dumb achievements like that for Shock Troopers. Am I allowed to pick that up? I still have the default gun, I guess. Also, can I just, like, gun it here? Yes, I can. Okay, just kill the middle guy. I can do that. Uh, I gotta press up at some point. Uh-oh. 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 I got the achievements, but at what cost? <laughs> All my fucking lives. Oh, and then you have to do it again on stage. I'm not doing that on stage six. What was the thing for this stage? Remove the core protection. Oh no, I died. I just wanted to get my lives back. <laughs> we don't have to 1cc anymore. Actually, it never required you to 1cc, so... But yeah, I definitely instinctively pressed down at least four times there. <laughs> if I hadn't unmapped it, I would have I fucked it up. The thing was blowing up. I, I ran into a stationary object and I died. Great. I guess I didn't run into a bubble.
I didn't mash enough? Okay, default gun in this is gonna be tougher than I thought. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I should have used the 10 lives code. Points for an extra life. Fuck. Thank god I got this one on the first try, the one where you have to hold right through the entire earthquake. Even though I died like twice, I still never let go of holding right. I guess that was good enough. Okay, so I just gotta, like, hit it from an angle, but... That's gonna be tough. Uh-oh. This would be easier if I had laser or something. Well, good thing these things take, like, a gazillion shots to die. Probably not going to kill one accidentally. Did that count? That didn't count. Wasn't that the achievement? If it's not hitting them, uh... If it's not hitting them, oh my god. Yeah, you better have laser. Can't do this with default gun. Oh, destroying the small orbs without damaging the core. Really? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That hitbox is fucking huge! Uh, be out of continuous. I was gonna try to do the the other thing. Not shooting down, up, or diagonally. What the fuck do you do about the the bubbles? What do you fucking do? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know. How rare are some of these achievements? Outrageously rare. Would you shoot the ceilings? Okay, like everything else 
is like 9%, 8%, 10%, 9%. <laughs> Was it straight up? Without shooting down, up, or diagonally? No shooting up. Maybe it doesn't take effect until after? No, it says, if it says reach boss in area 4, then it's probably the entire stage. Also, yeah, most of these will... Will allow you to use 10 lives, except for Super Gunless, Such Ugly Thing, and the, um, the Stage 3 boss, which I don't know why you would need that. But I still don't know how to do this one without falling below bottom third of the screen and being on the cliff of Area 5, reach the boss without shooting or dying. I don't know what that means. I guess that's once you once the screen starts scrolling down, you just you just gun it, don't get hit by anything, don't shoot. Uh. Getting the mastery badge on either of these is is tough. <laughs> Yeah, we shouldn't have doubted Sting 66614666. Fuck all developer. Or no, he said screw all developer. He didn't he didn't cuss. more drama. <laughs> okay, RetroArch's probably gonna crash, so I have to uh have to restart anyway. So I'm not even gonna I don't think I remember like how to get every secret. I guess some of them I could look up if I had to. I hope it takes this one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Brum, brum. Diamonds. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, let's change the focus to... Finish the game. So there's like a lot of secrets that I don't... I probably don't remember them all. <laughs> the hidden point things. God, you take so little damage in this compared to the Versus version. Jesus. This is, this is so much easier than the Versus version. Yeah, the Steven Spielberg in stage two. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of secrets. The Vic Viper's in there, Twinbee's in there. Uh, I gotta find all the diamonds in every stage. Oof. Oof. Get ten potions, find and get the headphones, find and get the flame suit, raincoat, helmet. Spring shoes, etc., etc. Peace, dude. Young man, raccoon, UFO. Remember where some of these are. Uh. Okay. Push start key. So I gotta find ten diamonds in every stage, huh? Just kick everything. My buttons aren't set! <laughs> every fucking time. I should be used to this by now. I need to remap everything. I need to remap the defaults. Take back. Ah, the music got stuck there for a second. Green Heron, think of the 100 bits. Yeah, I need to, like, change the default settings. My settings aren't even right for the... for my stick, either. First uni. I need to go around top, but... I despawned. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, my favorite part of the Goonies movie was when Mikey ran around kicking rats and picking up... picking up bombs. Oh, I didn't get the diamond! Oh god. Do I, do I have a chance to get it? Okay, it doesn't go away. I'm gonna run out of time. Missing one. Oh, I'm not gonna remember where all these diamonds are. No, 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 no. That didn't even hit him. I'm running out of it. I'm running out of time. 
There it is. side, huh? I definitely don't remember where all eight diamonds are here. Also, do I have the... I have the burn suit. Right? Yeah. And I got the headphones so they can't hurt me with singing. Yeah, Pang is a hard game. That's why I'm not playing Pang right now. I'm gonna have to, like, look at a map to figure out where these diamonds are. I didn't even realize there were eight diamonds in every stage. I know there's, like, a bunch at the... at the end of the stage. Dudes over here. Oh yeah, maybe you're supposed to crouch for the diamonds. Oh, I need a potion. I gotta pick up ten potions for an achievo. Yeah, one of them was singing in the movie, so they... Let's make them, uh... Able to, to hurt the Goonies by, by singing. Let's take the movie as literally as possible. Yeah, I gotta be crouching for diamonds, huh? Fuck, I'm gonna have to look at a map. Oh, I just wanna get a two loop clear, at least. I've, like, I've done, like, a few loops of the PlayChoice 10 version, which is the same as this version, and I think, like, even in loop 2, like, you're not taking, like, as much damage as the Versus version. What was that achievement? Like, you gotta get, like, a lot of loops in before it reaches the, uh, the Versus version. Oh, that's just 10 diamonds. Wait, weren't there, like, weren't there 8 in the first stage? How did was... Eight plus three is not ten. Fucking die. I don't bomb. Second Goonie. The start of the stage was five minutes, and I'm running out of time. Ugh. 
Yeah, like, there's a bunch of diamonds in this section, I think, right? No? I'm right there. Alright, I missed a bunch of shit. Yeah, he has to find the Goonies to finish the, the game. I'm not... I don't, I don't remember... Like, I think it sends you back if you don't find them. Like, when you get to the end of the... When you get to the stage before the pirate ship, it sends you... It sends you back to whatever stage to find them, I think. Right? ones are in the next train. And then, of course, Konami Man. Yoink. This is a good po place to leech, by the way. Okay. Do I have the... I don't have the helmet. Alright, I found all the diamonds, at least. I don't know where the diamonds are on this stage. <laughs> One-eyed Willy. Shit. Zip. Come on. Don't fucking... Come. It just it didn't come out uh, come out stateside because Nintendo of America forced uh, companies to they could only release up to six games a year and I guess Konami uh, wanted to release other stuff because this game was like kind of old by then. I'm trying to remember where you get like the rest of these items. Which which stages have what? I never take the warp. I'm gonna have to like look shit up, huh? <laughs> There's a diamond. One-eyed Willy. I don't have the helmet yet. shortcut is. Oh, this is where the the exit is. I thought it was at the top of the screen for some reason. Alright. 
Oh, oh I don't have the helmet. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, Coco, thank you for the raid. How's it going? No, never played the MSX version. Okay, so the helmet is in the stage, then. I'm gonna have to look this up. <laughs> Stage three. Oh, there's maps. Thank you, Strategy Wiki. Where is the uh... helmet? Oh, and Twin Bee's on the stage. Okay, where's the helmet? Doesn't doesn't say. <laughs> oh god, these diamonds are all over the fucking place. Oh okay. Wait, did I already? I didn't go there, did I? So is this where you get Twin B? Twin B's across like one of those gaps. There's a gap up here. Back to the the gate. I thought, uh, yeah, I did get the item. Okay, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh God, yeah, I am looking at the wrong thing. Fuck. Where does that connect to? I'm gonna run out of time. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Oh, diamond, at least. I kinda need that helmet. Okay, was there another... There's like another gate. I guess I didn't go there? I didn't go over here, okay. Completely forgotten the routing. Here we go. I gotta get in. Oh. You get points for uncovering diamonds. That, like, scared me. <laughs> it's down here. Right? I don't know which button I pressed to get that. I pressed, like, up, down, attack, everything. Alright. So I'm still missing a secret, but... Gotta go.
Okay, next time I should start by going up. Oh, I forgot to hold the ride at the beginning. Shit. I would have saved a little time. Nope, didn't find Twinby. I didn't have time. Okay, I think I start going going up here. Wait, this isn't stage five. This is stage four. God, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to like fucking have the maps on my phone or something to figure out where the fuck the diamonds are. <laughs> I gotta remember this shit. I need a bomb. Down and attack. Still need a bomb. I'm just wasting time. This is kind of easy to get lost in these stages, too. thought that data from the Goonies would, would be an Oscar winner. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie either, but Kihui Kwan seems very, very enthusiastic and thankful for what he got to do, so. Uh, what do I do over here? This dude is ledge guarding. I guess it doesn't matter if I take damage. If this was the versus version, this would be a uh, this would be a problem. Wasn't there a secret right here? Had a chance. Wait, is there something over here? I'm missing. I'm missing something. I'm missing an item. The backpack. Where the fuck is the backpack? It's got to be in this stage. I need like a better, a better guide. Okay, okay, I, I see where it is. It's like right before the exit. That's right. Okay. Got it. I remember now. I ain't gonna find all the diamonds, though. I... Oh, right. Just swallowed up the bone. Also, the Vic Viper's over here. I don't remember... You do to get it. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have to fucking Google everything. <laughs> Come on, you're missing the micless. Okay. Oh, oh, I see you. Okay, I get it. Oh, you gotta be fast. Okay. Got it. What? It went off. What? I didn't get it. It only goes forward a certain distance. Alright, well, I'll try again on loop two. <laughs> I didn't get the Goonie. Oh, I gotta go the other way. Except I'm missing I'm missing a key and I'm missing the Goonie. It's down an attack to get it. Which means you have to use your bomb. It's so stupid. Uh, Liar Exaggerate, thank you for the for the 40 months. What's up, Chris? I'm missing, I'm missing an item. Oh wait, no, I have the Goonie. Wait, no, I don't. I only have three. What did I miss? How did I miss a key? Gonna run out of time again. What did I what did I miss? Oh, was it the thing at the very start of the stage? Did when I didn't hold to the right? Did I not go that way? I thought I did. Yeah, I, I got that. What did I miss? It wasn't in here. I definitely went all the way there. I, maybe I missed something in the... up here. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It looks like I'm gonna lose a life to the time. You know, Digital Basic! Hey, thank you for the, the big old raid. How's it going? Oh, I didn't go this way! Aha! What's up, y'all? We're going for some... We're going for some retro chi Chivos and the Goonies on NES. <laughs> and I have forgotten, like, so many things about this game. <laughs> okay. Get the fuck out of here. I've heard the hurry-up timer in, like, every stage. Also, I did not get all the diamonds again. I am gonna have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, look that up. Raccoon! Unavoidable damage. Alright, at least these, these diamonds are easy to find. the rest. Oh, there they are. Yeah, 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 I'm going. 
So this stage can be some bullshit in the, uh, in the versus version. Since you never have, like, much warning before the fish come out, and they'll do, like, 50% of your life. I don't like those jumps. Oh, that's an extra life. I forgot there was a yellow potion. There's no Chivo for it. I have the suit so the water doesn't do any damage. Ah, come on. There we go. Oh yeah, there was a thing for picking up ten potions. And I was gonna say, do you even get ten potions in, like, one loop? It'd have to be two loops. Thud. Okay, probably something over here. Or not. Up? Where did I come from? This is the, this is the exit. Yeah, it's so important to know about those hidden things, just so you don't have to worry about spikes or water or anything. Bombs. Oh, wait, I had one. Whenever One-Eyed Willy appears, it keeps, like, other enemies from spawning. God, there's eight diamonds on the stage. I have no fucking idea where they are. Still not ten potions, huh? I really want you to do two loops. Okay, three keys, that's the goonie. I can get the fuck out of here because I don't know where the fuck the diamonds are and I'm not gonna try. Any, uh, any pickups? Anything else? I was, any hidden things I was supposed to get here? Sloth? <laughs> I don't even know where that is. Yeah, the armor protects you from skeleton bones. Oh, it's not in... Oh, is this the... Yeah, that's the that's the thing in the last stage. Okay, so it's not in this stage. Uh, where the fuck am I? I was tabbed out for so long, I forgot where I was. Can't jump off the line. <laughs> yep, 
The achievement author thinks it's Sloth. Sloth in his t traditional kimono. Or not kimono, but... Easy to find those bones. Ah! Pfft. Unavoidable damage. Great. I'd be really mad if this was the versus version. Okay, so we need to we need to stretch this out as long as possible. Also, are there diamond yeah, there's diamonds here. I'll probably find the diamonds here. Maybe I should look those up. Okay, one right there, one oops. One one down here. Uh one one right here. One up there. Yeah, I gotta get those points. Okay, is the item... Oh yeah, this is the, uh... Check it out, it's Sloth! Oh, I didn't... <laughs> I can get on with two. You don't pick them up immediately, they just disappear and you get less points. I didn't get all the diamonds, shit. Um, okay, they're like right there. Wow, that's bullshit. Okay. Oh, thank you. He's huge. The end. Congratulation. Point fifty thousand. We gotta do loot too. Yes, yeah, that's, that's definitely nowhere near as much damage as the versus version, but the yellow rats spawn more often. The rats slash foxes. Okay, I don't have to. Oh, I need that. Bongoitis. Why is it down in attack? I hate that it's down in attack to uncover these sometimes. So you end up wasting bombs. Because the first time you just had to, like, kick. It has to, like, specifically be down in attack. Which means you waste your bomb. That's so stupid. There's two Fratellis now. I need a... I need another bomb, because I wasted it trying to get diamonds. Mm, 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 
Yeah, shoot that wall. Alright, should I look at a map for... Stage 2? Since I didn't find all the stuff. Or all the diamonds, I mean. God, is it going to be down on attack for everything from now on? Okay, so there's like... One, two, three... Three in here. Okay. It's gonna be annoying finding these with the if you have to keep hitting down an attack. Wait, was it right here? Am I looking at the wrong spot? No, it's right here. I can't get it. Is it both buttons together? Oh god, what did I do? Ah! <laughs> How do you... What is the code for the items on loop 2? What the fuck? Oh, crash jump. How do I get the item? I don't remember. It's right here. I can't get it. Do I have to kick? Remember what to do. Uh, Rizwan, thank you for the the big old raid. How's it going? I legit don't remember what I'm supposed to do to uncover this item in loop two. I know it's possible. Like I know it's possible. You're supposed to get that in loop two. Am I gonna have to look this up? <laughs> How are the contrary ones? They went, they went all right. Um, the retro achievements for for Contra are kind of kind of whack. Same for Super C, but you know it was it was good to to just play through them anyway. It'd been a while. Yeah, I ended up finishing Contra with, like, two deaths. Still haven't done it deathless. Okay, I can't find anything for... <laughs> if you search for Goonies Loop 2, you find stuff for, for Goonies 2. It's kind of important that I find these... that I get these items. Am I gonna have to do loop two itemless? I mean, I got the I got the flame suit. They let me get that one. Can I even get peace, dude? I got him.
Well, I'm gonna run out of time, but... I got a lot of extra lives, it's fine. I don't have a bomb. I'm tempted to just, like... Like, I have a replay of the Versus version. That I did on MARP. <laughs> and just, like, looking at that with the input viewer on to figure out what the fuck I did. There's no way, like, I, I didn't get the, the items on them, too. Like, I didn't get all the secrets, but I definitely got, like, the... stuff on stage, too, I thought. I pressed up, I pressed down, I pressed up an attack, I pressed down an attack, I did like every... I pr tried pressing both buttons together. I've done like everything I can think of. Select button? Oh no. should be in the same places. I don't think they move them. I mean, the flame suit was in the same place. I don't have all the keys. Without items. Do these challenge run. The timer keeps going between scenes. Don't you jump. So I'd have to do, like, all the secrets on loop one, then. Okay, I'm not getting the... Uh... Wait, the diamonds are over here. I got one. What did I do for that? I don't know what I did to get that one. Hold it. Wait, hold the button and press down? Is that what it is? Hold the button and press down? Fuck. Okay, now damage is getting a little higher. Where's Konami, man? I'm gonna take damage from those. From the steam vents. Uh, why do they have to keep changing shit? <laughs> Alright, whatever. If I can get the spring shoes, let's just fucking skip the stage five. Okay, I got that one just pressing up. Also, where is where is Twin B? Can I even get Twin B on loop two? I don't remember where Twin B is.
Okay, it's so like at the beginning. I guess it's hold a button and then press down. You only get one chance at the spring shoes. I'm like afraid I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> Back to the oh wait, the damage is me. Back down here. It's this gap. Uh oh, there we go. What? What? Jumped right through it. Bongoitis. how it is. What the fuck is the hitbox on that? Yeah, don't really want to bother with all those, uh... <laughs> all those slot machines and other bullshit. Name emulates a lot of shit. I missed the, uh... Wait. Uh, where is it? I already forgot where the spring shoes were. Uh... Oh, it's down there. Got it. Down here. Alright. Big jumpy! Big jumpy! Oh, they let you use it for the full screen. Alright. I thought you only got one chance at it for some reason. Warp zone. So because of that, you skip the backpack, you skip the suit of armor, you skip the, uh... Uh, the waterproof suit. So drops of water are gonna hurt me, but spikes don't. Just like in real life. That's not an item, though. That's a bonus. Uh, that octopus is ledge guarding. Like I said, I should worry about the rest of the secrets on loop one, since I don't know what the fuck buttons I'm supposed to press. I'm just used to ignoring the water. That's why I don't do the... I don't do the shortcut. Need a bomb. I have no key. 
cheese. That was one. Oh no, water! Mikey's not allowed to take a bath. Oh, I gotta go down. I'm not used to having to dodge the water. Fucking me up. Other way. I'm out of slingshot. Okay, I need to get a bomb from the from the fishies. Uh oh. Ooh, I actually dodged him. Nice. I thought it'd be embarrassing dying to a bubble in Contra. I think it'd be more embarrassing to die to a drop of water. I'm not even wasting time on that. Come on, Fratelli, come down. Get your ass down here. I think I just kicked the drop of water and I took damage. That was my first death. <laughs> Shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, what did I... what did I miss? Aha! Fuck out. Look at that time bonus. Time bonus isn't worth much in this game. How did I do that? I don't know what I did to uncover that. Down right? You can, there's fucking diagonals? Oh my god. Wait. It's down left. So whack. Later board attempt second quest hard. Ooh, nice dodge. Yep. 
come back for you later. There, I got sloth. Oh, I don't have a bomb. Pick up the frickin' bomb! I got an extra life from kicking a diamond. I don't even know what I did to uncover it. There's a lot of bongoitis in this game. I can't even fucking collect Twinbee. I <laughs> kicked her in the face at the end. Excellent. Hard quest. Okay, what did it say for leaderboards? Oh, somebody did a lot of leeching. 472,000. Somebody did a lot of leech, a little leechy weechy. Okay, um, and there's no score for, uh, oh, now it's just kick. Now they simplified it. You're gonna fucking simplify it for loop three. I see how, how it is. But by loop three, everybody's like doing more damage. If I want to get the secrets, I should probably start over. It changes if the level is odd or even. I don't know. <laughs> I have forgotten all these things. In this stage, you can get stuff just by kicking. I didn't even get that the first time. Or, first time I looked to. How did I get hit? Well, at this point, I should probably start over. Alright, what am I missing? Vic Viper, of course. Twin B. All the diamonds on every every stage that isn't stage one or the final stage. <laughs> and the where the fuck is the UFO? Do I really want to try this one more time? It's in stage four? I don't think I've ever gotten the UFO. Uh, actually five, okay. Um, top portion of, of the... Uh, this. If you perform the proper action, it will arrive on the left side of the screen and float to the right. What is the proper action? Thank you, Strategy Wiki. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> okay, reset. Uh... 
high score. I'll say, maybe I shouldn't pick up any diamonds just to... Well, well I could do it on this stage, I guess. Make sure I get all eight on a stage and it doesn't, like, start on a, on a different number. Now I gotta do everything. Disable the analog triggers. Okay, now I can keep a good count of, of eight for each stage. Second, I need to I need to check the map. Okay, so there's three in this section. I did not take damage there. There's one like right here. Next one is right here. And then it's right before the, the skull. Uh, was I in the... Oh my god. I was in the wrong area for this item. Or wait. I thought it was on that platform. This guy needs to fuck off. I thought it was right there. Now the guy that's saying it's right here? I still can't get it? Okay, wait, this section... Um... Wait, where am I? Uh... Oh, there's one up there. Everybody just fucking hates the Goonies. Mice and mice and Fratelli is working together. Mass hysteria. Um. Okay, so there's three in this area. I thought there were more in the final area. Peace, dude. That's down here. There we go. Um, was this what I was thinking of the entire fucking time? It was in the other area? Okay, and 
there's one, one diamond over here. I need a guinea. God, after playing the versus version a lot, it's just so so nice to take like ten percent damage from from one hit. If that. You just take stupid hits, it's fine. No biggie. Oh, wait, there is an item here! What What the fuck? Hold on. Am I looking at the right... I am looking at the right area. Let's be right there? No, I already got the... Oh, it's a second chance to get the flame suit. So it doesn't appear at all if you, if you didn't get it in stage one. Whatever. I kept thinking I was missing something there. And the last diamond's right here. Can't miss it. Know how I'm un uncovering stuff here. <laughs> nice, nice unavoidable damage. Okay, Twin B, Twin B. No! <laughs> Do I need to just neutral jump? It's the second time that's happened. Frustrating playing Sub Zero. Okay, where the fuck are the diamonds? There's one on the left side. That's the second time that's happened. About Sub Zero, I'm done maining Sub Zero. I'm actually maining other characters, and I'm coming. Okay, uh, there's one. Wait, I need to blow this up. One diamond over there, one diamond over there, okay. Look at that knee. Die. Sorry, Arnold, you... You know a lot of references, but you don't know the Lord Brady references. Okay. 
Oops, give me that. Okay, so that's three. Fucking Twinbee, what a piece of shit. When did Twinbee's hitbox get that small? It's not like that in the fucking game. Alright, where am I going? Uh, there's like one diamond up there. All the way up there. I don't have the helmet yet. The EX Ice Clone does not function properly. It's frustrating. Um, okay. Item to the left. Diamond down that one ladder, diamond to the top, okay. I'm gonna get every achievement except Twinbee. I thought I'd have to like jump towards it. Made that mistake twice in a row. Okay, I got the I got the football helmet now. Okay, there's a diamond up here. I was gonna say, that's not eight. <laughs> that was the extra life. Okay. So, get out. Yeah, yeah. Flameproof suit, raincoat, suit of armor, football helmet, and and hit earmuffs. Yeah. Um. Okay, where am I? Okay, there's one. One up. Wait, where am I? Where the fuck am I? Okay, I need to go up there. Up to the right, and then the final one is... Okay, I see it. I got it. I'm still missing a key. Or I'm missing two keys. I held up! What happened there? Part. Yeah. Must be like two doors here. Unsaturated final. Let's just How are you? I'm fine. Oh jeez, Sir Lara, thank you for the for the big old raid. Holy cow! How's it going, y'all? We're playing some Goonies on the NES. Yeah, the versus version has all the secrets. The versus version plays pretty much. It's almost identical to the uh, to the Famicom version. It just everything does more damage. That's pretty much it. And by everything does more damage, I mean, like, everything does, like, three times as much damage. Okay, where is it? There it is. Nice.
But anyway, hello y'all. I'm I'm BBH. I usually play arcade games, but I'm messing around with some NES stuff tonight. Hadn't played the Goonies in a while, so going for the the retro chivos. Okay, I don't know all. Okay, stage four. That's some extra life. Also, I don't think the extra life potions in the versus version. You still get extends from points, but I don't think the gold potions in the game. Okay, hold on a sec. I need to check the stage four map. Uh, where did I start? I started right there. There's like two diamonds. Okay. There's one. Another one like over here? There it is. Go to the top first. See if I can actually get the Vic Viper this time. I need to like scroll the screen so like it's farther to the left or something. There we go. Missing... Where, the, where am I? I, I? I skipped some stuff. Um, okay, there's like two over there. One by the... Okay. Can do. Right, right next to the the vine. Oh, whoa, whoa! Am I tripping? I was looking for the vine, and then it just fucking appeared out of nowhere. That was all the diamonds here. Yeah, they're, they're doing it again. <laughs> Gotta change the color palette. Okay, we... There's one to the right. Nice. Oh, unavoidable damage. Cool. I don't like this pallet. I don't like that pallet. I don't like that pallet. Change it again. <laughs> Wait, where am I? I'm up here. Okay, um... I already... Wait, I'm missing... Oh, wait, there's another... Yeah, okay, I didn't go in the one up there. That's right. I didn't go in this one. And so, this has... Where am I? One down there, one... Okay, got it. I need a bomb. Slingshot. I should probably grab a bomb before I do anything. Enemies might not spawn over there. No? Okay. Okay, I think the last one is in the, uh... It's in the final area. At the bottom. Yeah. Do I need a Goonie? I 
I forgot about the items. I need to pick up the items, too. <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember where the backpack is. I don't need to look that up. I might have missed a, uh, a door. Nice. I don't have a bomb. Crap, I gotta go around. Oh, I missed two doors. Come on. I have the backpack now. I shouldn't be running out of bombs. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's fucking potion. I have to go around the other way. Got crushed. That's an instant death. That should be the final key. Or the guinea, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. I miss an item? Did I miss like a secret? I didn't get the uh the raccoon, but I don't need it. Strategy Wiki doesn't even have the raccoon list. Oh no, the raccoon's in the the passageway. It's in this area. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking haul ass. Okay, stage five. This is um, this is gonna be hard to find all the uh, all the diamonds on. Also, where's the UFO? There's where do you start from? Where is this area? Okay, so I need to go up. Actually, it's probably better best to go left first, huh? <laughs> Take out this area. <laughs> the raccoon is just one of the 5,000 point items. Bunch of bonuses like that. Okay. Um. Where is this? There's two diamonds in here. Okay. I see. Yep, this is indeed Goonies on the on the Famicom. It got a uh, it got a Play Choice Ten release and a, a Versus system release, so it got like it appeared in in U.S. arcades, but it didn't get a an actual regular home cartridge release, which was very confusing. But it was likely because Konami was only allowed to release six games a year for the U.S. in the U.S., so... Uh, they decided to go with some other games instead. Because by the time, like, the NES was becoming big, this game was kind of old, so... Where's the other diamond? I missed it. Hello from Salem? That's like 40 miles away. What's up, X-Keeper? How is the, uh, how's the moving going? Oh, 
Okay, I need to... Wait, where is it? Uh, wait. No. It's over, over here. Is there no... Oh, maybe this is one of those items that only spawns if you don't have it. Yeah, if you miss the raincoat the first time, it spawns there. Skull emoji. There's a lot of pirates in this game. Um, I got the... Okay, I'm gonna go... To the right? Get that diamond first. And then, bah! Back around. Okay, so the UFO's up here. I've never even seen the UFO. Sorry for all the pausing. I'm I'm cheating. I'm using maps. Um Okay, so there's one right there. Is there only one diamond? Are the rest in the other area? Oh shit. So where's the I thought it was this area. I can't find the diamond. It says it's like right here. What button combination do I have to do? Fuck. The bath idiot. Shit. Oh, maybe it's this part. No. That can't be right. Nothing over here. There's supposed to be a diamond in, like, one of those spots, but I can't find it. Okay, what am I what am I missing? What am I missing? That goes to B. Okay. Wait. I need bombs. I hope you're not required to have a slingshot for that one. Oh, there it is. Alright, there's one. Other one's down here. Let's go around, because I have to go to the... thing. Wow, they hit it right there. Got a full stock of items up there. Okay, so what am I what am I missing? So I've gotten the UFO, but there's like wait, I'm I've only I've only found like six diamonds, and there's there's one that hasn't appeared. Where's the eighth? It's not in this area. Uh oh. Ruh-roh. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Shit. Starting movie record. No. What was that? I don't want. <laughs> what button did I just press? I'm recording a movie. Shit. All right. Well, as long as it's not not taking up a lot of hard drive space. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. Let's try this again.
You do need the slingshot? What the fuck? <laughs> Either that or you have to, like, attack in midair when you're jumping across. Okay, so I missed one. I think I know... I think I know what I missed. I have to go back to... Uh, the other skull door. That's really what you're supposed to do? Fuck that. That's bullshit. Oh, the UFO! I didn't get the UFO. I think it's up here. Wait, where am I? <laughs> where the fuck am I? Uh, yeah, it's over here. Right? Like, right here? No wonder I never found this. Where is it? If you perform the proper action, it will arrive on the left side of the screen and... Okay, I'm pressing, like, every... Every direction. It's supposed to be right here. I think. Right? Yeah, that looks right. All right, one second. <laughs> I'm not passing this up. I'm not going all the way through this again. I'm shooting everywhere. I've shot, like, everywhere. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hold B and press up or down. No. <laughs> Wrong. There is. I don't know what I did, but I got it. Okay. I'm about to run out of time, by the way. Uh, where's the, uh, the thing? I have to go... I have to go back to... Um... Where is it? Can't even find it. All the way to the left from here? Or no, down here. Whatever, I'm about to die from time, it's fine. But I think I missed one over here, in this area. Aha! No more diamonds. So that's everything except Twinbee. <laughs> I think. I think. Oh, Mikey, you were so close. I had to jump across. Yes, everything except that little piece of shit. Alright. I mean, I 
mean, I don't have to finish this. Might as well clear out this loop, though. <laughs> Dude, that would suck for speedrunning, because... Well, this would just suck for speedrunning in general, because there's so much RNG. But, like, especially for the last stage, it's like, okay, I hope... I hope What's-Her-Name's in the first door. And if she's not, then... Then get fucked, I guess. Okay. Uh, alright, alright, alright. One more try. I'm just gonna get to stage three and then be done. Now we're speedrunning. Even though I had to cheat and look at a guide for a lot of this. I'm sure a lot of people did. I actually watched the speedrun of this. I don't watch many speedruns, but now I'm like kind of curious. Obviously, they're gonna take the warp shoes. But. I'm gonna go itis on these bombs. Holy shit. But yeah, there's just gonna be a lot of RNG in general, like helping you get items in the right spots. Got the item this time. Get back here, you. so I can get the fuck out of here. Nice. Just kicked him in the face. That was probably a slingshot. I think it has to be slingshot. That's like the last item in the the drop pool. Mm -hmm. 
Ow. I don't know, these, these mice came strapped. Okay. Twinby. 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 Is this not the spot? Is this not the spot? I thought this was the spot. Yeah, this is the spot. Okay, now it's just not gonna spawn at all. This is the right spot, isn't it? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead and tell me. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong here. I did hit up. I'm pressing up right now. Oh, there it is. I'm 0 for 3. Do I gotta, like, jump at the last second? Mikey's feet don't have, like, a... Don't have a collision box? What the fuck is going on with this fucking hitbox? Wasting my fucking time, Twinby. You piece of shit. I'm somehow 0 for 3 on that, when every time I've, like... <laughs> I have overlapped the hitbox. I should have just made a save state so I could figure it out. Yeah, all of a sudden Mikey has a cave shmup hitbox. He chose now of all times to have it. Unbelievable. Okay, so I'm just gonna try like jumping at the last second. And I'm bummed. I don't need the items. Box like that. I just want to catch you in my in my loving arms, Twinby. I don't have a bomb. I'm going too fast.
Okay, I can get the fuck out of here. Save the slingshot for last again. Also, now that I think about it, do you actually get, like, health refills in the Versus version? I don't think you do, like, between stages. Like, you have to... You have to get, like, the diamonds to refill your health or, or potions. I don't remember, like, getting health refills like that. Now that I think about it. Okay. If I fuck this up, I'm going to load state and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Up. Up. That shouldn't have been that hard. That should not have been that difficult. Oh, I got one badge tonight. I am done. <laughs> the fuck was I like 0 for 3 on that? Twinby, you little shit. I once you see two of your games and this is how you repay me? Yeah, just throw Mikey down the well. Goodbye, cruel world. At least he was invincible to the... to the steam. So, like... Now that I'm thinking about it, like, there wasn't, like, really dumb challenge stuff in this set. It was just, you know, find all the, find all the stuff, find all the hidden stuff that was already in the game. Like, there wasn't, like, anything, uh, anything, like, super creative or special, but sometimes that's okay. Sometimes that's better than, like, the, uh, the dumb shit they wanted me to do in Contra and Super Contra, or Super C. Cause boy, there was some dumb stuff in those. Um, I don't know if I'm, like, going to ever, like, come back and try to attempt those, cause... Geesh. What a... No crouching, no, uh... No standing in the bottom third of the screen or whatever the fuck that Super C one was. Uh... Where does that move me up to in the leaderboards? I'm like 59 other people that mastered this. Site rank 2457. Hey, I'm in the top 2500 now. I jumped up like a couple hundred places just from, from doing that set. <laughs> yeah, it's... 
Game by game basis. Sometimes you get uh oh oh I didn't even I didn't even say like uh <laughs> I was laughing at this earlier and I didn't even like read the uh the comments on the uh on the on the wall. There was one that says like they they actually had to fucking delete some of these comments saying like thanks, I will ignore this kind of people. I've removed the disrespectful message and sent a DM to that user. Please guys, beware of our user's code of conduct. Being disrespectful with other members is an unacceptable behavior, especially when addressed to a dev who spent many time to work on something for free just to provide fun to the community. If you have criticisms, do it in a respectful way. Yeah, this wasn't about Sting 666 This guy who just straight up said, screw all developer, but he's in like the top 1,000 on the site. <laughs> Everything else is, like, kind of positive. I need to make sure to, like, read the comments on everything before I, before I start playing something, because... Sometimes there's some gold there. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. Oop, I closed the wrong window. Not a big deal. I have to close everything up anyway. Um, trying to figure out who to host. Mr. Radon's probably about to finish up. Playing Doom. Doom 64. But hey, why not? Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Oh, that was, uh... Like I said, that was, that was pretty fun, even though... Even though Contra and Super C, the achievements were kind of the still fun just to play those games again. I had a good time. Hopefully, we can uh, we can continue to make like Thursdays some like just some console tomfoolery. Uh, I'll be back on Sunday to uh, we'll do some arcade chivos then. Um, Monday's Neo Rank Masters, yeah. Yeah, about covers it. <laughs> you know the drill. If you're if you're new around here, if you came in from the from the Surlar or Rizwan raids or whatever, uh, drop me a follow. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I just like uh, when I started the the stream up. Um, I just noticed that I'm at ten thousand and seven followers. I broke ten k. I just broke ten thousand like last. Night, I think? I didn't even notice. I don't know if I'm, like, doing anything special for that, but... <laughs> Pretty cool, nonetheless. Should probably tweet about it or something.